here we go. It's a busy Friday night at Jethro and Jake's in El Tuna. And one look around the packed restaurant and it's easy to see and hear the hustle and bustle of hungry customers. Some like it. We like to go to restaurants that are loud because we can actually go to dinner as a family. Is it okay if I get this one out of your way? Perfect. Servers get used to it. You're gonna be on TV. I read lips mostly. I can't hear anybody talk, so I read their lips. And others are picky. Doesn't bother me as long as I can talk to the people I'm with. Tom Thomas wears hearing aids. We were just talking about it, believe it or not. They could put a drop ceiling in, they could put carpet on the floors. That would help, but I mean, you know, this is Jethro's is Jethro's. Nice to see you too. And no one knows Jethro's better than the man who created it. Bruce Gerleman has built nine Jethro's restaurants in the past nine years, and he's a stickler for details. I tell my staff every day that there are 1,200 details before we open a restaurant, and none of those relate to the food. Gerleman says most restaurant owners get occasional complaints about noise. He says his rock and roll barbecue restaurants are supposed to be a bit louder. We want the music to be loud enough so the people can't listen to your conversation sitting next to you. And if you do think your restaurant is a little bit noisy, it turns out there's an app to measure the noise. The app shows about 79 decibels, or the equivalent of loud music. Right now, I'm going to have them go turn it down 12%. <laughs> and, and, what, and see what happens. See what happens on your meter. Ironically, during our interview, Gerleman thought you the music was a bit loud. We need to turn the music down. down. 12%. 12%, I got it. Thank you. Uh, the decibel meter did quiet down, but as soon as he told the manager to turn it down, a customer at the bar caught his ear. It's about perfect right now. Huh? I like it loud. <laughs> it is our number one complaint. Dr. Ashley Barr is an audiologist at Woodard Hearing. Just repeat the last word that he says. Farm. She says her patients ask about noisy restaurants during hearing exams. She says decibel levels louder than 80, like heavy traffic, lawnmowers, and really loud restaurants, should be cause for concern. Though danger levels usually don't occur until 85 decibels or higher, or the equivalent of motorcycles, chainsaws, and leaf blowers. You can have 85 decibels for eight hours and still be okay. Her advice, look at a person's face at a restaurant. Sit closer to them and don't be shy about asking to move to a quieter spot or asking to turn down the music. Their goal is to make sure that you stay and buy more food, so they're going to um, make sure that you are comfortable and happy there. How are we doing on drinks, guys? And Gerleman agrees. In our business, the customer is always right. So if the customer complains, we will turn it down.